Hello, if you're on this is Ahmed Dan. Today, I'll show you how not to use the default uh, cut or blade tool in DaVinci Resolve and what should you do instead. So before I even start, uh, in order to use this video, you need to know how to assign uh, keyboard shortcuts, uh, which I have a separate video, and I'm going to put a link in the description box below. So if you uh, do not know that yet, then I suggest that you watch the other video and learn how to assign keyboard shortcuts and then uh, come back to this video because you're going to be uh, needing the knowledge to assign keyboards in order to uh, implement this video. So now let's start uh, this video. So today I'm going to talk about the cut tool and also give you three uh, cut tips, the tips that will uh, help you like, you know, uh, make your editing much faster and better. So it's going to save you a lot of time. So what happens if you are using the default uh, blade or cut tool in DaVinci Resolve, then what uh, the traditional way of cutting uh, any clip is that you select the blade button and then kind of like you know here cut and then once you're done you have to just kind of uh, deselect this by clicking here the selection tool and then you can just use your card portion now this is very time consuming and this is not efficient because you're going to be losing like in a lot of time going back and forth here and here so instead i'm going to show you how you can cut and also two separate uh, like you know tools what uh, which makes you cut even much better than regular cut. So let's just, you know, use this part I just cut. So this is gone. Now you have to go to DaVinci Resolve keyboard shortcut uh, or keyboard customization section. So click here, DaVinci Resolve keyboard customization, click here. And here you're going to have this screen. So now you're going to be assigned three separate tools for today's work or to make your cut uh, job easier. And it's better if these three keyboard shortcuts are next to each other. For example, they can be like, you know, Q, W, E, J, K, L, uh, one, two, three, anything like, you know, as long as they're next to each other. The reason you want them to be next to each other, so that way you don't have to move your finger that much. You can just like, you know, keep your finger kind of at the same place and just like, you know, hit one after another to do the cut job much easier. So the first keyboard assignment you're going to do is razor. So select show all and search for razor and here you can see that my assigned key for razor shortcut is w so which is right here then i'm going to show you two other tools and the other one is going to be search here start to playhead so start to playhead and here under trim you're going to go to ripple and assign your keyboard or sorry key uh key uh, right here so for example my key shortcut is Q because this is right before Q so I assign Q for this play uh, start to play hand and then the next one is going to be end to play hand and you can see that my sign shortcut is E which is right after W so I have assigned these shortcuts now once you assign your own key uh, shortcuts or uh, customization then you can just like you know close this and you can come back here now I'm going to show you what it does so let's say I have to cut this clip so instead of like you know selecting this uh, blade tool right here I'm just going to hit W and it's going to cut as you can see that it already cut here so I don't have to like you know go back and forth it just cut here by assigning W or by clicking on W now the two other uh, keyboard I assigned, one of them was uh, Q, which was start to play hit, and the other one was uh, E, which is end to play hit. Now, what it means to start to play hit that if I hit Q on my keyboard, is going to cut this portion right here. So from this end, uh, beginning of this part right here to up to here, up to the play hit, so that, that's why it says start to play it. So all I have to do, I don't have to even like, you know, press the W or cut here. So just pressing Q doing two jobs together. It's going to cut here, right here, and it's going to remove this part right here. So let's hit Q and you can see that it did the job. So if you play here, then you can see that it did the job and I'm just going to go back. Now the other key I assigned, which was EU, is end to play hit. So what it means that is going to cut right here, and then it's going to remove that 
this part so you don't have to like to manually delete uh, or manually select and delete on your keyboard so all you have to do you have to just hit E and see that it's gone so it's going to save you so much time that you're going to be thanking me for all your life so these three uh, keep uh, I'm just going to you know uh, undo what we just did okay so these three keyboards are as long as they're next to each other, uh, you don't have to like you know, move your hand or finger that much. And for me, uh, the W is just the plain cut and uh, Q, because Q comes before W on the keyboard, is uh, before cut and delete. And I assign E because E comes after like you know plain cut. Uh, so end cut after from the playhead and delete. So these are my assignments. And if you assign this and you start using this instead of like you know, using the default uh, blade tool, then your editing is going to be faster, better, and easier. For the next DaVinci uh, Tips and Tricks video, I'm going to put a link on the screen and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.